Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Double fish trip right there. Mutton snapper right there, baby. Alright, we're rigging up. We're heading offshore. We're gonna go do a little bit of afternoon slow pitch jigging till the sun goes down. With any luck, we'll be bringing home some food to the family. While we're at it, we're gonna offer some great tips and tricks on slow pitch jigging. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, everybody, we'll see you out on the water. All right, so we're gonna start out slow pitch jigging. We're in just over 120 feet. What we got is we got our solid ring attached to our leader on our line, and we got our slow pitch jig. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find a split ring opening. We are going to open that up on a slow pitch jig. We're going to feed on our solid ring. And the rest is just like you're putting a key on a key ring. Get it on until it snaps on. You're rigged up. We're ready to drop in. So while we're dropping out, we want to talk about slow pitch rod selection. It's a very peculiar thing, and you need to think about it when you're making your purchase. Rods are rated for specific weight jigs. They're not like line, like if you're fishing with monofilament. This particular rod is a star rod from the Plasma 2 series. It's six foot six. It's got acid wrapped guides, which means they start out on top and they end up on the bottom. This rod is rated for 150 grams to 400 grams. It's got a good solid range, which is why I chose it. And it's more heavy duty for the bigger size reel that I got. All right, on the bottom. Again, come tight. Right. pitch and flutter down. Again, when you're slow pitch jigging, you don't want to wind up your slack. You want to wind on the way down and let your jig flutter down, do what it's supposed to be doing. That's why it's pitchy. Ground contact, remember that at the same time. Don't get too far up. Bottom fish. Now, if you're marking fish up in the water column, of course, go after them. I almost I'm giving like a double pull right I'll wind up I'll wind up I'll give it a little pitch and then I'll give it another one there's all sorts of different craziness you can do you don't want to necessarily just wind up all the time and just pitch it wind up and pitch it that's not you know you gotta add a little bit of flavor to it you can do it three times you can constantly jig it you know that's more like vertical jigging but if that's what floats your boat go for it now remember, you want to watch out for that fall. That's where most of your hits on slow pitch jigging are going to happen. It's on the fall. All right, we're letting back out. We're on a little bit of a ledge, which is good. We moved out a little bit deeper, out to about 150 feet. See if we're going to get this hook up. And we got it hooked up right away. Not real big, but you saw how he hit it on the on the way down. And we're tight. Probably gonna be a little snapper. We'll see. Now you notice how I'm not pulling back and reeling on the way down. I'm just keeping constant pressure on the fish. Not big at all. But hey, a fish is a fish, right? Got that hook up. See what we got here. Here comes our fish and we got a, a lizard fish that's not <laughs> hey fish is fish right but that's a lizard fish 
not exactly our target species. But this just goes to show you that, look at the size of this fish and look at my lure. Slow pitch jigging gets them all. All right, we got signs of life on the bottom. We're marking some fish, which is good. Always real good. We seem to be in a little happy spot. So we'll see if we can pull something up other than a lizard fish. But you know, that's the time of the year it is also. We're in winter here in Florida, which is late January. On the ground, from tight, give it some pulls. Let back down. Remember, you don't want to go too far. You're gaining about three to four feet each each time you jig. So, you know, you don't want to go more than Oh, and we're on. There we go. That's a good guy right there. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Keeping that ground contact right there, man. You go back down, you're bottom fishing. This is sunset slow pitch jigging right here. The sun is going down. It's going to be a nice night. Take our time, get this guy up. You, so you see, slow pitch jigging covers all areas of water too. We're in 150 feet of water. So, doing real good, we're at the leader. Here comes the fish. Let's see what we got, oh, we got a nice mutton snapper. Oh yeah. There we go. So, there you go. Mutton snapper on the slow pitch jig. He got to be 18 inches, which I think he is not. We're going to measure him up. More than likely vent him out and let him go. He's all up 16 inches. So, what I'm going to do is vent him. Because his eyes popped out. Go right behind his pectoral fin. I felt him decompress. Hopefully he swims away. And he's trying to swim down. That's a good sign. We vented him properly. When you vent the fish, you'll feel that air bladder release. And that'll allow them to swim back down. Nice little catch on the slow jig. I'm gonna do about one more drop and enjoy the sunset. Oh. That was a good right there. Oh, and there he is. Nope. The jig's caught up under. I recognize the feeling. So you gotta learn to understand when your jig gets wrapped up around your line, it'll feel like a hit sometimes, but it's not. All right, folks. That about does it for this sunset slow pitch jigging episode. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw how versatile the slow pitch jig can be. You know, the fish weren't exactly keepers, but it shows you that it's super effective. If you're looking to get out for just an hour, have a little bit of fun on the water fishing, slow pitch jigging will get it done for you. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.